top of the morning, everyone. How are you? It's 6.30 a.m. Guys, I would not be up this early if it were not for the mini haul. You're probably saying, it's all right, ES. Just go on and get up. Go for your stroll. But I don't like nobody pressuring me. That's one of the groups right there. Waking people up. Unbelievable. So I drank some water. I haven't even done my meditation. Hold on a second. Let me do my meditation. Guys, what is up? What is up? Are you happy? I hope so. We've been receiving more rain lately. I think we got a late start with the rainy season. The corn doesn't really like too much rain. Some of the corn here I can see on this side. Some people started a little late. We have areas here which are farmed by other people. Everybody knows their position and their place. We can start uh, pulling some down in some areas and start consuming it. I do believe that the majority of the corn, of course, is going to be processed through a machine. It may be a little different because they eat differently here. Um, they eat a certain staple all the time, but they do have sweet potatoes, which we are growing this year. And the sweet potatoes are amazing. They're not the kind of sweet potatoes that many of you might be used to. Yeah, that's fine. And that's loud it's too early for this <laughs> oh i got a tooth this morning okay calm down see when the guinea fowl wake me up i'm not finished sleeping that's really what it is and i was trying to lay there and you know of course go back to sleep once they calm down but i guess it was too late and the body just said just go on and get up just go on and get up yeah but it's a fabulous day it's wonderful i'm feeling really good actually i'm out here maybe i should just kick up a little bit more speed though maybe if i get some more energy into it okay see like this little farm land here they'll be actually they'll do well they're gonna harvest like in maybe at the end of october there's some people that have that start really early in the season and they've already harvested and then they'll uh, farm again. But up here in the north, they don't uh, have like a designated time. They go according to like certain buddings of grasses and things like that. So it's quite interesting. Wow, this view is amazing. I'm walking towards, you know, the deep, deeper foresty areas. We don't have a big forest here. It's like low lying bush trees as you can see the trees are like shade trees and then they have like dawa dawa trees neem trees the neem trees are they can grow very very tall okay so let's talk about our viewers thank you so much for tuning in i hope you're doing well i'm just out here in west africa y'all <laughs> i'm out here in west africa y'all wow i'm in the northern parts of ghana off the beaten path i'm here because i like the rural the rural environments i came here for something ex something different and then plans change and then i met my husband and so i'm just kind of i'm with my husband you know and we're having a good time but then i was also going to say to you guys because i know that our viewers want to live a good life too and there's a lot of uh, youtubers and people that have relocated here to ghana i only know them through youtube <laughs> you know that are selling land and things like that we don't promote selling land but if someone comes and knocks on our door you know we uh have plenty of it um like i said i came here for one purpose and that purpose changed later so um this isn't like where i'm just like everybody just come you know but i just put it like this like if you come out here on your own don't like try to get me involved in it you know don't i don't like that because 
of the things that I went through. But I just try to keep it real with my people. You know, yes, it is beautiful out here where people are not putting like plastics and stuff like that. That's kind of annoying to me. It's not really a big deal when you really think about it. But if you enjoy natural environments where it's clean, then you'd have to come out in the rural locations. Another thing that you have to take into consideration is that if you are the type of person who needs a vast amount of conveniences to spend your money, then you, you might not have a good time, you know, in a place like this because it encourages, a place like this encourages self-sufficiency to the utmost. You may not find fulfillment here. Now, like I said, my original reason for coming here was pretty stupid. <laughs> you know, I, I beat myself up all the time about this because it was such a monumental decision that I made to come here. And the reason that I came here was extremely flawed. Just some things that I learned and, and how, you know, coming here with that sort of mentality that I had, it brought me to a new awareness. I've been transformed on so many levels, like levels upon levels of transformation because I chose to do that for myself. Oh, here are those little puffball flowers again. <laughs> Look at that super cute when it comes to making a decision such as going out into a rural location there's just so many things that you have to take into consideration you know number one you will not be able to depend on things such as amazon you know because you live out in a rural location see in the west you can you can live out in the rural and i don't really know how it goes as far as like advanced things which they'll deliver but like say if you lived out in maybe New Mexico or you know out on some reservation somewhere in Arizona I don't know but imagine if you live out looking just like this right it's just nothingness chances are you could easily get your Amazon package some way or another you know <laughs> like you know daily I'm sure but here you cannot you know you can probably get Amazon in Accra somewhere in Accra they're gonna it's probably gonna land at one of their agencies so I don't really know much about that. I wish I did. But then again, like I told you guys in our last daily video, that I like actually being out here. It has cured my addiction to spend. I only spend on investments now and necessities, such as the internet. <laughs> the internet is a must. I live by it. I love it. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, this is my life. Um, if we need to buy water, we can buy it. You know, if we need to buy power, we buy it simple and it's not expensive these things are not expensive I personally prefer rainwater I don't like the pipe water okay so there's different things that you have to think about you can dig a borehole where there is water and you guys might be saying oh there's so much water here but if you dug a borehole you would not be able to find it at all sitting on this hill just over this way the hill slopes down so the water all goes down there and that's where you'll see a lot of flooding in like the rice fields in those areas unfortunately some people have actually built in those areas because the seller was not transparent <laughs> enough regarding but that's why you have to be so knowledgeable and <laughs> very educated before making such decisions about buying land my husband assists many people with that it's a business for him you know there's always people selling but locally though but it's very rare for people to come from abroad to want to buy land but they inquire all the time but then they get my wisdom have you been here <laughs> have you gone through town yet have you spent some months here get acquainted with the culture you know you know what's so interesting guys i'm going to turn the conversation a little bit the reason why i personally like stopped talking so much because i felt like people didn't really want to hear from me you know because i went through something really stupid here and so once I outgrew that part and I was just like, okay, I'll just start talking again. I realized that people's need or desire to get away from whatever they're experiencing is definitely valid. Sometimes when I'm, or excuse me, when, when someone shares with me what's going on in the West when it comes to like the standard basic law enforcement type situations or whatever is going, right? It actually saddens me because when I look at the problems that they have here, I'm just like, oh my gosh, they're so low budget problems here compared to those. And now I understand like certain stressors are just not, they're not necessary. 
but that stress is so contagious there that it's almost like like it's so normal you know everyone just thinks that oh this is just the normal way but some of us like wake up and just like i don't think this is or you know what we choose for it to not be normal anymore i think that's what it is it's really a choice that we're all making whether we're going to accept something or just say you know what i just want to live as a human <laughs> that's it you know and so you'll encounter so many different ethnicities here right and everyone's very neutral that's what i enjoy about living abroad is that you get to see people for who they are in their vulnerability in their foreign no longer are you living under a systematically designed system you see so all of those things that people are dealing with it's a programming and in order for us to stop the program, it's like you have to push delete, <laughs> you know? You have to, in order for you to stop experiencing the system's design, you know, it's, 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 it's blueprint. You have to create another blueprint, you. You know, that's how I've seen it in my life, especially. I don't know if you guys really like can vibe with me on that. Let me check the time because last time I walked too far and I was a little late for um, my daily routine, what I have to do. Let me check real quick. Just like that during rainy season, you have to take your time. You have to be so patient. This is just one bird that likes biting us. So the trick is to add a little piece of plastic and some bright grasses. Oh. I have some little sticks here that always work. These little flat wood pieces. Usually ah, found because of the construction work that we have or had going on here. So these catch a fire really fast. So just using dried grasses or something like that. So didn't quite catch, so we're gonna try it again. And these matches are not the best matches. Gosh, this is interesting. Okay, let me just go ahead and. Okay, wow. Okay, so we're gonna try to start this one again. It's easier when I have my dried grasses, but I didn't feel like walking all the way over there to the other side of the farm. I stored them during the dry season. And okay, so I'm gonna start it in two places, maybe three. I have it here, and I'm going to try to ignite this cardboard too, if I can keep the fire going. Oh gosh! If you aim it at a 45 degree angle, sometimes it catches well, but not today. Wow, look at my luck. Let's just take a trip <laughs> to find some dry grasses. I stored them over there in the chicken coop. One of the little rooms has the little tiny bunny rabbits. Maybe they'll be there to greet you. Here's one here tearing up my plant. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Don't make me whip you. Don't do that. I don't like it when you do that. You're making the plants ugly. Yeah, eat that one. Eat that one. There you go. 
But we also have some of these little ones here that work very well. These come from the shea nut tree. Only thing is, is if it has rained, the moisture inside would be a problem. But we'll grab some just in case. So just right in here, I just stepped up some dried grasses. It looks like my dried grasses are stuffed in here. Just grab a few. See? This is what starts the fire very quickly. I went inside and my husband was like, like you couldn't start a fire. It's like a no-no in these African streets. You must know how to start a fire here. You must be a fire starter here. I didn't went and use up all the fire. But as you can see, I have the things which will catch better. So he's gonna come and it's gonna start because I've prepared it properly, see? That is how I prefer to have a fire with these nestled inside, like a little nest in there. But um, I've used all of the matches. I think I wasted about four or five of them. That's like a crime out here, a serious crime to waste that many matches. But it's just one of those days. So I'm gonna um, see if he'll bring some fire so we can roast this corn. I don't have any fire, I don't have any matches. Okay. I don't have any matches, it's ready though. Look how he's on. I don't have any matches. Mm. I've gotten so spoiled. Allison has been starting all the fires. <laughs> During dry season, you know, I was setting fires all over the place, but he came and it was just like this routine that we all agreed upon. Whenever I was gonna cook outdoors, he started the fire. He was closest to it, so it was working out, but he's not here now. And my husband looking at me like, oh, you forgot how to start a fire? No, brother, I didn't forget. You know, it's just, it's just sometimes we, we have good days, other days, you know, not so good. I just can't believe I wasted five matches. <laughs> like what? It's a crime out here, it's a crime. These matches are precious. Well, in the meantime, I'll give you a little tour of some of the plants that I have out here. I really want them to be indoors. I'll probably take them with me to the forest. I'm having a hard time finding the containers that I want. Um, we'll see, maybe in Accra somewhere. I'll have to buy them and then have them shipped out here. But this is one here. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, so lovely. Here's another beauty enjoying the rainy season no complaints here huh? and i have another one that i just showed you right here there's something else growing here i don't know what it is but it keeps giving me these pretty little pink flowers so cute i have the lemongrass that's growing out of control and then i have this beauty right here so lovely i have a few more inside they're doing very well i don't know there was another one that did this i don't know if the birds are getting up there and breaking the stems like that but it's lovely and i might want to take it inside with me just to make sure that she stays okay because i see here that maybe we've gotten too much sun on the end here yeah i think it'll do better inside very humid out maybe we'll receive some rain this evening i'm really hoping so so we built a greenhouse and I love it so much. The layout is, is just everything. I love it so much, but I haven't been out there. As a matter of fact, all of these plants that you see out here in the outdoor kitchen were inside, but I pulled them out because it was just too hot in there and we didn't pull any power in to put a fan in there. But not only that, we're not only gonna need a fan, but also we're gonna have to open one of the spaces and then I'll probably use something green. So we're going to open up one of the windows to create a nice breeze because one of the um, zinc walls, the plastic zinc walls is blocking the airflow. So I'll give you an update on that a little later. <laughs> so are you trying to outshine me with your, your grasses? <laughs> no, this one would do. Okay. I didn't even think about this thing too. We have to move it. Yeah. Okay, so the it was only like, uh, there's maybe about two or three of those mashes inside. So you finished? Yeah. Thing, though. Eh? I taught you that technique. Which one? Using the, the grasses. So why do you the, use it? Huh? I have some in there. I brought some. Why? I ran out of 
fire. I use one magic so remember. Okay. How many matches do you use? So it's done. For, it's done. Yeah. So I'm so in the covers, it will boil it. It will clean it and cook it. Will cook it. Okay. And roast it at the same time. Okay. Well, you're gonna see how I dress mine. When okay. I'm gonna dress it so you can see how okay. we do. I don't want no boring corn, baby. I don't want no boring corn. You guys are. Okay. Mm -mm. Your your ingredients. You sure you don't need my help? You do do. I see you over here struggling with it a little bit. You do. Take it baby. Time. Oh. Give it a time. Give it a time. Do you need my help? You just wait. Okay. This fire looks like it's struggling a little no. bit. I'm gonna help him out if he needs some help with me. <laughs> he talks so bad about me. Yeah, but look, I'm telling you, the moisture in the air is very humid right now. Like, look at the humid, look at, look at the evidence. I'm not doing anything, but just stand here. <laughs> uh -oh. Give me a time, baby. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I'm telling you. Put that smoke out it. <laughs> mm hmm. You have to really take your time with fires. I learned it here. Like you do not rush a fire. It will like talk back and not do nothing. You like, take your time. Dress me nice and slow. I like little poor play. Give me that baby. Yeah, fire is like doing? poor play. <laughs> well, that's because that's the dry right there. That's what you doing. What? Okay. If I start selling with the corn. As a boy? Yeah. Like your assistant? Assistant. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, so you, you need to be you need to put your eyes on how I the technique, the technique. Are you the indigenous technique oh, I use. Oh, okay. Indigenous techniques. Yes. Nice. You, you like it. Okay. So these small ones are yours. Which one? <laughs> Let's finish. You didn't okay. finish yet. Okay. Let's finish. But usually when I see the ladies in town, they usually wait till the fire has kind of calmed down a little bit, right? And you know that like, the ladies in town, mm -hmm. they use charcoal. Okay. We use hood. Yes. So the difference between charcoal and hood. I know that charcoal comes from hood. Yes. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. So if charcoal can come from hood, if you put charcoal, you don't see a smoke. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. This is automatic. Babe, stop. No, I'm not going for that. I'm one. telling you, this is yeah. science. Okay. Charcoal comes from hood. This yeah, is reality. I understand that. But what is your point though? You like So if you, you use like wood, smoke. you get a smoke. Yeah, also if you, you use have charcoal, the... you don't get a smoke. You see? This is science. <laughs> Huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we tasting our product. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. Good vibe corn. <laughs> it's going yeah. to be amazing. I'm telling you. Really, you think so? You will too. I can't own. wait. I mean, wait. this is gonna be this is the first it's one to try. Yeah. So. You don't want anybody to taste fake for us. <laughs> you know, there's big big ones, but we yeah. just choose. Yeah. The, the tiny one. one, just to yeah. see. We're ready to harvest. How is at the red corn? It's ready to harvest. Very so you, soon. You think you I should go out there and start? Very soon. I told you I would help out. But anytime you want to eat it, you can just go in. Okay. Grab much Sorry. you want to. Even you can cook it, you can just put it in hot water. Okay. Boil it. Oh, it's so delicious, especially with butter and spices and all these things. Mm. So that's what we don't go. So I'll use the glass. Okay. I need a fire. This one we call fire. So we're gonna let you know how it how it tastes. We had a viewer that requested us once we harvest to send them some feed for their for their um their poultry. Sounds really good. We'll see what happens with you that. You like it. The corn is on its way. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's been such a long the, time. The red corn. They used to do, to do feed. The oh, red corn. Oh, the red corn? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm the one who requested the red corn, and we only have so much. I think we only did one, a half an acre of red corn, so I don't know. All right. Let's have a closer look. It's green, baby. Look a little burnt, babe. Yeah. It's moving. You know, it's I know, moving. I know you it's know moving. the work. It's you, moving. You know the it's work. Moving. <laughs> It's moving. It's moving. You know the word. It's word. moving, baby. <laughs> All right. We're just going to let it roll. <laughs> All right. It's done. 
Okay, so I, I put on my long sleeve, you know, because mm. it looks like it's yes, after that time. So I see that the corn is so now it's ready. We just remove it. Remove the oh. yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. Now it's, that's Ooh, how you see how it's fresh. La, la. You see how it's fresh? I see. See how it's fresh. <laughs> you yeah. You see how it's hot? Yeah, I see. It's roast and cook. That's how they do it. Wow. So let me Oh, you are good. You are good. Now let me show you how we do it. First of all, I want to taste one of the kernels naturally. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm. So let's remove all. Okay. It's roast and cook Ooh. at the same time. Oh, good. Good. Look at all that steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It's also. I can see. I can see that. Ooh, it smells good. This is your real corn. So here's what we're gonna do. These are just homegrown ingredients. So we're just gonna use what we have here. Look at, the, look at the flies, think we calling them. Who is that? <laughs> Just wait, babe, my baby, because he's looking like, what is going on here? <laughs> Just bear, bear with me, baby. Just bear with me. <laughs> I'm just watching this. Mm -hmm. I have a little, little spice there. <laughs> I have a little bit of... Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, yummy. Okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Baby, you're not ready for that. What? It's too much. It's too much. I never flavor. see I never see someone do corn like that. That's, it's, too, that's... it's too much flavor, babe. Yeah, I, I, know, I, know, I know I'm not ready for this. No. Uh, I just... Mm? It's delicious. Mm. Wow. All natural. All natural. It's so delicious. Yeah. Mm. You can eat it all by itself, but you know I had to add my extras. It's very spicy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Very hearty. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't want to try this. Allison, are you sure? Yes. Oh my god. No, he's so confident. I don't want to try it. Are you sure? I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> let me just let me let me give you the recipe. Hold on. Hold on. I'll just give you. Hold on. Let me finish. My finish. Mm -hmm. La and the Jerry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't put this this uh, oh, this one. <laughs> my bad. I don't know if they'll stay. Okay. <clears throat> show them yours. Show them yours, Allison. <laughs> Look at here. Look. <clears throat> Try it. <laughs> I'm the yo. I'm the leg. That's a lot of flavors going on, huh, Allison? Mm, that's good. There's a lot going on, huh? Mm. I know this is this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. I'll it. Look, now. <laughs> let me, let me also see. You want to try? Okay, mm -hmm. sit down for me. I got you back. Do small. Let me do small. I don't know if my pet's ready for this. He don't like all them strong flavors. Mm. Let me give you a little spice. This is very strong in flavors, huh? It's another way that we do it, but I'm just using what we have. Let me give you a little. 
Hold on, Jack. Let me give you some fresh, some fresh veggies, veggies on there. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say y'all had to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we right back. Oh, Hold on. <laughs> He's never had his corn any other way. <laughs> I didn't say you do it. I was just minding my business over here. <laughs> mind my business. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is a homemade recipe too. That's what's so funny. It's just fantastic. <laughs> Allison bouncing away. You guys like it really? What? What is use what we have, babe? Homemade experiment. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I thought that they were gonna be thrown off. No, I want to do the... myself. Mm -hmm. I thought they were gonna be thrown off by the flavors, but mm, mm, apparently mm, they vibe mm, with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Imagine what a a little spice to some corn could do. The corn is fantastic, by the way. Just naturally, on its own, I really like it. I don't know, I taste it with your tail like that. Oh, okay. You're <laughs> mm? so funny. I'm glad you tried it. Enhance the corn a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Spicy. Mm hmm I like it. Excellent. I like it. 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 Sweet and tastes good like this. Thank you. I just know to eat corn. I don't know you can corn. You can turn the corn to to different experience. Like I don't know. This is my first time, but I enjoy it. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos. We really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, we are on our way to 50k. Help us. To reach our goal share the videos to your loved ones and god bless you